Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Windows, you will know and Microsoft is what we would term to be very assertive when it comes to using their own products and services in Windows. As an example, always trying to get you to use Microsoft Edge as the default web browser and their other apps in Windows. Now this could all be set to change and this is according to a recent Windows Experience blog post recently um, uploaded by Microsoft on the 17th of March. And the gist of the whole post, basically, in a nutshell, is that Microsoft wants to put people in control of their Windows PC experience, with Microsoft saying they want to ensure that you are in control of what gets pinned to your desktop, your start menu, and your taskbar. And as many of you will know, those are the key areas to which you can pin apps and files. And they carry on to say, as well as to be able to control your default apps, such as your default browser through consistent, clear, and trustworthy Windows provided system dialogues and settings. Now, this is going to be a very interesting one to watch in the future because this is, this is very contradictory to Microsoft's normal approach um, to pushing you to use their um, default um, apps and services in the Windows operating system. Now, Microsoft um, has mentioned in a paragraph, which I'm going to quote for you, and this will just put everything kind of into perspective for the purpose of this video, and then we're going to expand on this paragraph. So I'm quoting this. Microsoft says, third-party applications running on Windows and Microsoft's own apps and features will have access to methods for pinning to these key user experiences and access to directing users to change defaults. Apps may offer features to lead users to the appropriate dialogue or setting, but users are ultimately in control through standardized and clear experiences to inform their decisions. Now, that's quite a mouthful, but just to expand on that as mentioned. Basically, what this means is the, the, the updates means that the pinning of apps to the start menu, as mentioned, and your desktop and your taskbar in the future will respect your choices, so the choices you have set, and adjusting the default apps used to open those specific file types will be much easier and simpler to do, basically ensuring that no unwanted changes are made to Windows by software that is installed. So that's the long and the short of that paragraph, um, as mentioned by Microsoft. Now, to put this all into a practical example, for defaults, Microsoft says they will soon introduce a new settings deep link URL for applications to take their users directly to the appropriate location in settings for the user to change their defaults. So a very simple practical example of this would be if you click on a button to set Chrome, the Chrome web browser as your default PDF reader in Windows, uh, you will be taken to the PDF tab of the default apps settings page. So that means if you click on a button to set Chrome as the default PDF reader, you'll be taken directly to that um, setting um, of the default app settings page. So as an example, this will take you directly then to the settings, apps, default apps. And if we scroll down to Microsoft Edge, it will take you directly then to the actual button to set Chrome as the default PDF reader in the Windows operating system, where currently th that is not the case. And I actually think um, a lot of you will agree with me that will be a very nice move in the uh, in the right direction when this feature does start rolling out to the stable version of the Windows operating system. Now, Microsoft says um, in this blog post that they are basically committed to three things um, through this process. Number one, and I'm quoting once again, we will ensure people who use Windows are in control of changes to their pins and their defaults. Number two, we will provide a common supported way for application developers to offer the ability to make their app the default or pin their app to the taskbar. This will provide users a consistent experience across all apps. And number three, Microsoft apps will use the same common supported methods for pinning and default. So that's um, what Microsoft says they are committed to through, the, through this whole process. Now, moving on to pinning your apps. Now, Microsoft says for pinning, and for this, we're going to head over to a screenshot provided because it will just give us a better idea. Microsoft says for pinning, um, they will soon introduce a new uh, publicly available APR, as we can see from the screenshot provided, that will enable apps to pin either primary or secondary tiles to the taskbar. This APR will always invoke a trusted Windows user experience 
as we can see, to clarify what is being respected to be pinned and to confirm that the user indeed wants to allow the pin to occur. So that's the long and the short, short of the changes that Microsoft is going to be making for pinning. And um, according to that blog post, um, Microsoft says that um, they will launch these new features first in the Windows Insider Dev Channel flight in the coming months. So that means this isn't going to be rolling out tomorrow to the stable version. So if it's getting launched to the Dev Channel, uh, this is possibly something that Microsoft will make available in the stable version of Windows uh, in up and coming uh, versions, stable versions of the Windows operating systems, possibly later this year in 2023. But like always, I'll keep an eye on this one. And if any more info becomes available and these changes do become available, I will post and let you know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.